Indiana Disability History Project, Indiana Institute on Disability and Community, Indiana University. They didn't think I could do it. Darkest Nims. Most proudest thing I did be getting self able to start it. That showing people the what all the special stuff that disability people can do, you know? That all the things that, you know, people can do as disability and stuff. I mean, show that the school teachers, show the the business people, show even the politicians and stuff, you know. What disability people can do, you know what I mean? They can hold a job, they can hold a family, they can hold a, a career, they can learn how to drive, they can learn how to cook and take care of a family and stuff, you know? Just like when, just like when I was in the workshop there, that um, the social worker told me that, because I was taking care of my mom, and then my niece would come to go live, go chance to live with us. And she came to me and told me that I couldn't take care of my niece and take care of my mom too, and work and go to my meetings and stuff. And then I saw Paula and Juan and I asked her, I said, don't you work? And she said, yeah. I said, don't you got a family to take care of? And she said, yeah. I said, don't you have to go to meetings and stuff like that? And she said, yeah. I said, there ain't no difference between me and you. This takes me a little bit longer to get them done. And I showed her that I took care of my mom, I, kept, I took care of my niece, I went to my meetings, I kept my group going, I worked, and just like anything else, you know, they didn't think I could do it and stuff. But I showed them, you know, because I was disability and stuff, and they say I couldn't do that and stuff. And I took my mom to her doctor's appointments and stuff, and uh, even with the classes to learn about diabetic and stuff for my mom and then and then when I turned to be a diabetic I learned how special things had changed since what she was and all and I even told people things that they could do that from the diabetic and stuff you know and uh, when we was at a conference and young a man he was saying that his son was diabetic and he was on the strict and he only gets so much money and uh, how he didn't see how he had a hard time about food and stuff and by di different kinds of food and stuff. And I tell them that it would talk to me in classes that he can buy the regular peaches, just put them in a drainer and uh, drain them off with cold water, put them in a bowl, put them in ice so I can get cold. And there ain't no difference in buying the fancy peaches with uh, Nutrisweet and stuff in it. And it is that uh, kind of peaches. And he said he did not know that, and I told him that his things that he could do to help his son and stuff for his sons for his diabetic, and his son could stay on his budget. Because I know I had to stay stick on a budget, and I had to worry about my diabetic. Music, Redwood Trail. Produced by Indiana Institute on Disability and Community, Center for Health Equity. Funded in part by the Indiana Governor's Council for People with Disabilities. Copyright 2018, the Trustees of Indiana University.